showcase our bases. And here we have this group of spill bot, as you know already. Fantastic. 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 And then Matt Rohde, fantastic keyboard player, helping us out. So uh, we'll just go through the first hour of just going through all the, the bases, the features, uh, kind of basically show our inventory. What I really like, the single most valuable thing on these bases, and, and you know, it's not unique. There are other base companies that do this, but I think Exotic have really pitched it right in terms of the frequencies and how this works. It's got a passive tone control, right, which works in active or passive. So that's great. And I want you to be aware of the fact there's a massive amount of range on this instrument, you know, which is cool. Um, the other things, you know, as Kenny mentioned, the neck is really comfortable. Um, the practical thing that, that I can say, and, and, and this is like, this is not a sales pitch, I mean, this is really the truth. When I fly with this instrument, the neck, the neck doesn't move, you know? It just doesn't shift, and that's really good. Cool. I said, kind of, oh, I want to play on it. You don't want to play anything else, anything too clever. It's like, this is the thing, you know? And it really, you know, the other thing too is I'm noticing about the neck too, there's definitely like a, it, they, they're really, the exotic is developing all the time. So these bases, the finish on the neck is really cool. This paintwork is kind of bad. I, this is, I haven't seen this one before and I, I love this, you know, with the translucent thing. It's sort of reminiscent of the old um, late 50s P base. You remember those ones with the gold, that'd be another thing, the gold anodized, right? The, be safe, right, which yeah. I'm sure, these yeah, guys, some, you know, those will be coming out. You know, it's it's so badass, you know. So I'm digging the fact there's not that many base companies, you know, where I think they have a kind of a, a cool thing where they're bringing some of the tradition into the modern thing too. You know what I mean? I like that. Uh, obviously passive, but like I said, this is a standard setting pull for the passive. I just, I think that passive thing, you know, the jack the volume, but... that we all have in a single coil passive J pickup, right? You got that really sound, especially having a fluorescent light, fluorescent light like we have here. What it does is it basically cancels out that hum if you solo out. So I'm gonna solo out the neck pickup. in Van Nuys, they're here in LA, right? So you, you know, if you buy a base, you hit them up and be like, hey, is it possible I can do this, we can modify this, and you know, they're right there. And that's kind of unbelievable, you know, it's like that doesn't really happen for so many other companies, you know what I mean? And the, the development is happening all the time, so the development, it's like with the neck profile has changed a little bit, the neck is a little slimmer now, it's more comfortable, and that's all been from input from players, you know, Travis, myself, we're like, yeah, we can do this and tweak that. So. The old bass, the Travis one that, that I have, honestly, it doesn't leave the gig bag much because I dig this one. Here, here. 
if you have any like, you know, if, oh, I love the bass, but I want to stain it. Sure, let's figure it out. You know, I, don't, I want this kind of tuners. Okay, let's figure it out. You know, I want these kind of pickups. I want this little configuration. Uh, our friend had wanted to swap the bass and, uh, bass and mids swapped around. We did that for him too, which is a really easy thing to do. So things like that makes it, uh, uh, time consuming things makes things a lot quicker for us. This is the cool thing about our company. Play, play song out.